Hi, this is Don Watkins. I'm community moderator at opensource.com with this week's top five. At number five, the U.S. makes renewable energy software open source. Community moderator Joshua Pierce shares the great news that the United States government has decided to open source the system advisory model software. This will increase transparency, flexibility, and collaboration, which is a win-win for all. At number four, how to use Arduino and Raspberry Pi to turn a fiber optic neural network into wall art. New writer Zach Alley, a London-based software developer, hardware hacker, and machine learning enthusiast with a fascinating article about how he made wall art by combining a Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and open source code to create amazing wall art. At number three, learn how to program Python by building a simple dice game. Columnist Seth Kenlon with a step-by-step -step article about how to learn Python by building a game. This is a great place to begin your Python programming journey as Seth has provided all the details to ensure your success. At number two, how to run DOS programs in Linux. Jim Hall, an open source developer and advocate with a fascinating article about how you can use Kimu and FreeDOS to run old MS-DOS programs in Linux. He has provided a step-by-step -step guide will will have you up and running your old favorites. And at number one, the top seven open source terminal emulators for Linux. Opensource.com editor Jason Baker with the top seven terminal emulators. Are you a system administrator, a Linux power user, or just someone who spends a lot of time at the command line? Be sure to let us know your favorites in the comments. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time.